Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me today, once again, is Steve Martin. How are you? Good. I'm All right. doing good. Hey, so today we're going to talk a little bit about Final Cut Pro 10 and some compositing, right? Yeah, in, per- in particular, uh, green screen compositing. Okay, so um, some stuff you can do in motion, some stuff you can do directly in Final Cut. You can, you can do compositing, even though there's not really any tracks, right? You can still composite multiple... Uh, clips on top of each other without tracks. Uh, exactly. In fact, there are you know coming to Final Cut Pro 10, you look at the time and go, where are, where are my tracks? Well, you don't need tracks. Okay. And you'll see why uh, because you can connect backgrounds and whatnot to to your um, primary uh, video and get get the same effect. In fact, you'll have even more flexibility, and you'll see that in a moment. Well, okay, let's so see let's, you now. Okay. So here's a. Uh, uh, Fish on a green a gold, background. Yeah, a goldfish gold shot on a, green screen. Now, exactly. how did they get that goldfish to act in front of a green screen? I don't screen? know how they did it. That's but, pretty uh, good. That's pretty, pretty good. So I'm just going to add this clip to the primary storyline. And there, there it is right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apply a key to this. So um, I'm going over to my effects button in Final Cut Pro. Mm-hmm. So you can bring it up. And it's find up, found under the keying category. Makes sense. And then you have a key here. I'm just going to drag and drop that right on the clip. Okay. And instantly, I mean... Knocked the green out pretty I just, well. I knocked the green out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, there it not is. Not doing anything to it. In fact, if you want to see the actual <laughs> prom- parameters for this green screen, you select right. it and you go to the info, you know, which is Command Four, and then here's all your parameters for adjusting the key. I'm just laughing because like people don't realize like it's not that easy to make a good key, you know, and it's generally takes some work to do, and you're just dropping that on and immediately getting uh, a pretty nice very, key. Very, very good out key out the gate. Exactly. Um, so now let's add a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just grab this underwater scene here. Okay. I'm just gonna drop that. Now normally, again, you would think you would, uh, well, you wouldn't think to put the background be- below. You usually uh, start with a background and composite exactly. the green screen shot on top of it on separate tracks. Sure, but, but now you're just, you're just connecting, connecting it. it. Connecting it, okay. Yeah, and just like that, there's my, there's my key. Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Fact, isn't that pretty? Now, what's, here's what's, this is what I think That's is, terrific. this is what I think is fantastic. Uh-huh. This, is the, this is really all leading up to this, is the fact that I want to try out different backgrounds, okay? Okay. So I'm going to just grab this uh, hammerhead clip. I'm just going to drop that on the clip. Okay. Release a mouse, and I'm going to I'm going to add it to this thing called an add to audition. Audition, yes. Now, what's nice about, in fact, let's let's add uh, let's add the city of Boston while we're at it. Okay. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> Might city. Look a little weird. Let's add add uh, audition. Okay. Now, when I click this badge for the audition, and it brings us up. What's fantastic about this is I can now quickly Try out different backgrounds just by clicking just on by that. Going cool. Yeah, can you like use that. a keyboard? Yes, it's Control and the arrow keys, so will we'll allow you to actually switch switch between switch, them. So you can just immediately switch between the different options. Absolutely, and then you're you know essentially. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. Um, Look at that poor goldfish behind I know, all I know, those I know, hammerhead sharks. Just, oh, yeah, he just looks like uh, uh, <laughs> help, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's it's, like it's Nemo. It's, it's it's fantastic. In fact, what's also nice about addition clips is if you uh, right click on them, there are some additional options in here. Like for example, uh, you can uh, preview uh, preview a, a clip. Okay. So you can say, I want to preview this. You don't even have to hit the space bar by doing that. It'll actually preview it for you. Oh, and just play it through. Yeah, and we'll hear, so now it's playing it through. But see, I'm gonna, like, while it's playing it through, I'm gonna try a different background. And look, notice it keeps playing back. It just keeps playing back oh, as you that, switch through Isn't them. that freaking awesome? Great. Yeah, just, just like, I'm gonna pick another one over here, just kind of, so there it is. Why it's playing, it just automatically previews and you can see it with the background. Nice. Now this is what's amazing about Final Cut 10. On the right hardware, I mean, any other nonlinear editor system has tons of rendering, it plays back, it looks playing back full yeah, boat. these full, yeah. HD clips? They're, yeah, full on 1080p HD clips. 1080p HD clips with a key on a background, swapping out different options yep. just by tapping arrow keys yep. without needing to constantly drop other clips in the timeline. Very yep. nice. Very nice. Very cool, Steve, thank you. Yeah, it's fun stuff. All right. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.